is a God, always, now, and ever, not to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee, O heavenly King, come to the Spirit, true to our work, present to us all things, treasure of good things, and giver of life, come and dwell in us, and cleanse us of all impurity, save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy more, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy more, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy more, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever.
Let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God. To the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages.
Jesus of the traditions of my father. But when it pleased God, who separated me from my mother's womb and called me by his grace, and revealed his son in me, that I might bring you among the heathen, immediately I conferred not to be washed in blood, neither went I out to Jerusalem to them which were apostles before me, but I went into Arabia and returned again to Damascus. And after three years I went to Jerusalem to see Peter, and abode with him fifteen days. But other of the apostles saw I not, save James, the Lord's brother.
When he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. And the stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. This parable spake Jesus unto them, but they understood not what things they were which he spake unto them. Then said Jesus unto them again, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved, and shall go in and out and find pasture. It is me to me who bringest the good tidings.
Savior, and preserve the Orthodox Church throughout this entire world in unity and right to be, granting her peace and tranquility, love and harmony. Let us all say, Lord, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray thee, look down upon the Holy Orthodox Church with compassion and mercy, and preserve her from division and schism, from enmity and disorder. Grant that her unity be not diminished nor shaken, but that thy thrice holy name be ever glorified within her. And let us all say, Lord, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Thou who hast given us thy commandments, love of thee our God and our neighbor. Make hatred, hostility, offense, craft, and the spilling of blood to cease, that true charity might reign in the hearts of the people of the Ukrainian land. We pray the our Savior, hearken and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for them that bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all venerable temple, for them that minister and them that chant. For all the people here present who wait thy great and abundant mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. O most good God, art thou and the lover of mankind, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, look down with thy mercy eye upon the sorrow and greatly painful cry of thy children abiding in the Ukrainian land. Deliver thy people from civil strife, make to cease the spilling of blood, turn back the misfortune set against them, lead unto sanctuary those bereft of shelter, Feed the hungry, comfort those who weep, and unite the divided. Let not thine own flock, who abide in sorrows on account of their kinsmen, to diminish, but rather, as thou art benevolent, give speedy reconciliation. Soften the hearts of the unmerciful, and convert them to the knowledge of thee. Grant peace to thy church and to her children, that with one heart and one mouth we may glorify thee, O Lord and Savior, unto the ages of ages. Amen. Pray, catechumens, to the Lord. Be faithful for the catechumens. Let us pray to the Lord who have mercy in them, that he will catechize them with the word of truth, that he will reveal unto them the gospel of righteousness, that he will unite them with his holy Catholic and apostolic church. Save them, have mercy on them, help them, and keep them, O God, by thy grace. That they also with us may glorify thine most honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and ever not to the ages of ages. Amen. As many as our catechumens depart. As many as our catechumens depart. Let the catechumens remain. As many as are the faithful again and again in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Wisdom. For unto thee is due, O glory, honor, and worship to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, not to the ages of ages. Amen. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world and its state and holy churches of God and the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy temple and for them that will be for us. Delivered from all tribulation, wrath, and necessity, let us pray, Lord. Help us, 
save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Wisdom. That always being guarded under thy dominion, we may send up glory unto thee, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.
the most holy patriarch of Moscow and of Russia, our command of the Holy Trinity, Saint Sergius Navra, and our Lord, the very most reverend Valerian, Metropolitan of Eastern America, New York, first hierarch of the Russian Church of Rome, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom, always, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Russian land and its Orthodox people, both in the homeland and in the diaspora. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom always now and ever and unto the ages of ages. This land, its parties, and the armed forces, and the faithful of the world therein. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom always now and ever and unto the ages of ages. The clergy, the monastics, and all that are persecuted and suffered for the Orthodox faith, especially in the Middle East, in the Ukraine, and other places, both here and abroad, for the founders and benefactors and brotherhood and sisterhoods of this holy temple, for the sick and the suffering, especially old on a better day. May the Lord God remember always now and ever and unto ages of age of. In the hope of memory eternal, may the Lord God remember his kingdom, the Archpriest John, oh, it is now ever and unto thee. For our friends and relatives who have departed this life in the hope of the resurrection to eternal life, may the Lord God have mercy upon them and save them unto ages of ages. And you and all right believing Christians, may the Lord God remember you always now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Christian ending to our life, being 
most blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Holy God, our Prince, our most holy, most pure, and most blessed, glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another in all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, O Lord, through the compassions of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou blessed, together with thine all holy, good, and life breathing spirit, Always, now, and ever, not to the ages of the church. Peace be unto all. And to thy spirit. Let us love one another that with one mind we may confess. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Trinity, one in essence, and in living. Shouting, 
proclaiming and saying,
Moscow and all Russia, Archimandrite and St. Sergius Labra. Remember, O oh Lord, His Eminence Hilarion, Bishop of New York, and the Eastern American Diocese and the First Hierarch of the Russian Church abroad. Grant them for thy holy churches peace, safety, honor, health, and length of days, rightly to define the word of thy truth. And God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with thy spirit. And call to remembrance all the saints again and again in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For the precious gift, sovereign and sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. Accepted them upon his holy and most heavenly in order to call her as an order of spiritual fragrance will send out upon us divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. That we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, and necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy in us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, Let us ask the Lord. Grant this, Lord. Pardon of our sins and offenses. Let us ask the Lord. Grant this, Lord. Thanks, Lord, and Father, and for our souls and peace for the world. Let us ask the Lord. Grant this, Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance. Let us ask the Lord. Grant this, Seat of Christ, let us ask. Having asked for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God. And vouchsafe us, O Master, that with boldness and without condemnation we may dare to call upon thee, the heavenly God, as Father, and to say, Let us attend. Holy things 
are for the holy.
Amen. Amen. Again, I draw near one to our Lord and Savior, for the mercy of Christ, and for the blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. O Most, O Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, source of life and immortality, is greater and more than the visible and invisible, the co-eternal and the Lord, the Rich and the Son, the Father, 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 and hast renewed the fivefold for all of our nature, corrupted by sin. Do thou thyself, O Lord, and pray me, accept the repentance of me, the sinner, and supply thy fear for me, and hearken unto my words, for I have sinned against the heavens, and before thee, and I am not worthy to look upon the light of thy glory, for I have stained as thy greatness, by transgressions and thy commandments, and not obeying thy injunction of all. But thou, O Lord, who art not sinful, all the comforts and benefits and mercy has not given me our to be destroyed of my sin, but always thou art able to my own son of encouragement. For thou hast said, O mother of mankind, that in thy heart is my desire not to go around the sinner, that he should return to the Lord. Thou desirest not to marry the Lord of joy, the work of thy hands, by the shalt thou be conscious of the function of men. Thou desirest that all be saved, and some of the knowledge of the true knowledge of the Lord. Wherefore, it is high, the Lord, and worthy of heaven and earth, and of his sinful life, and his condition by the self of sin, and made myself a slave of pleasure, and had to be placed thy image, yet being thy work of creation, wretched though I be, I despair not of my salvation, and dare to approach thine immeasurable loving kindness. Except that it be, O Lord, lover of mankind, thou wouldst accept the sinful villain, the thief, the publican, and the prodigal, and take away the heavy burden of my sin. Thou that takest away the sin of the world, and healest the infirmities of mankind, who callest the weary to any labor unto thyself, and givest them rest, who payest not to all the righteous and sinners to repentance. And do thou cleanse me from all the power of flesh and spirit, and teach me your chief holy and sincere thee, that which is your testimony of my conscience, receiving a portion of thy holy spirit, I may be united with thy holy body and blood, and happy living in the body being me with the Father and thy holy spirit. Yea, O Lord Jesus Christ, my God, and not the communion of thine immaculate and light and mystery, be unto me for death and my last breath to receive thy confirmation the portions of thy holy things unto communion of the Holy Spirit as a provision for life eternal for an acceptable defense of thy fresh dress and feet, so that I also the all thy elect may become a partaker of thy name and offering thy things which thou hast prepared for them that love thee, O Lord, and whom thou art glorified from the ages. Amen.
With the fear of God and with faith and love draw nigh. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. God is the Lord and hath appeared unto us. I believe the Lord and I confess that I should Christ the Son of the God. This is the Lord and Savior, the Lord and Savior, the Lord and Savior, the Lord and Savior.
God, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. We have seen the true light. We have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true faith. We worship the invisible trinity. For he has saved us. Always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let our mouth be filled with thy praise, O Lord, that we may in thy glory, for thou hast saved us, to partake of thy hope. the divine, holy, most pure, immortal, heavenly, and life-giving, fearful mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Alma, save us, and draws your us, and keep us all under the grace. Having asked that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commit ourselves and one another and all of life unto Christ our God. Sanctified is thy kingdom unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us depart in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Lord, who dost bless them and bless thee, and sanctify them. Save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Preserve the fullness of thy church. <coughs> Sanctify them that love the beauty of thy house. Do thou glorify them by thy divine power. And forsake us not that have put our hope in thee. Give peace to thy world, to the churches, to the priests, and to all thy people. For every good gift and perfect gift is from above. And from a down be the Father of lights. And the need we send up glory and thanksgiving and worship to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, not to the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord from henceforth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord from henceforth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord from henceforth and forevermore. the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wisdom, understanding, counsel, fortitude, knowledge, piety, fear of the Lord, the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. May we all receive them. In fact, we have received them. They come to us in baptism. They're bestowed and they're signed and sealed on us in the water and in the holy chrism that completes the sacrament. Like a family with a mother and a father, Vladimir and Olga became the parents of an entire family baptism. Now when you think about this, it's rather amazing and we celebrate St. Vladimir's Day today and he's called equal to the apostles. Well that's a pretty big title. Those are big shoes to fill. And so the question is, how does um, a rough and tumble pagan suddenly advance like that to equal to the apostles? And the answer is baptism. Because on his name day, it's mentioned in the 
books that he's called Basil in baptism. He receives a father. He receives a patrimony in Christianity coming through Constantinople and through missionaries. And now here comes really the beautiful part of the story that the rough and tumble pagan would come out of the waters of baptism and also secondarily on the next baptism and then would come a mark of wisdom and understanding an order that the entire kingdom would now be baptized and so now you have the great washing of the Slavic people and from that day from that year 988 is an entire history and it's a rich history and it happens through a work of the Holy Spirit and I think this is really message we're all about I believe we're all pretty much all of us are all baptized members in Christianity we're all members of the church through baptism we share with grace legacy through the sacrament we share in the death of Christ in the sacrament and that's how in a way one way that the overnight becomes equal to the Apostles and it's really a great story and it actually happens through wisdom understanding and counsel it's going to be carried out through fortitude and through knowledge and then on, out of that is going to come an entire millennium of piety and there's fear of the Lord in fact we're heirs of that heirs of Christ's death and resurrection and baptism we're heirs of this knowledge and piety and fear of the Lord simply because we're most of us are still standing here those of you who are sitting I don't blame you my feet are tired too and I want to praise you those of you who come here to St. John's living out this legacy of Christianity standing in church for two hours now granted if you're going to a concert or some sporting event you'll stand longer for some reason that sounds like fun your dogs are barking but in church I hear people saying this all the time in fact I, had a I said you need to come to St. John's uh-uh why not no pews <laughs> you're kidding you mean you're gonna from a beautiful experience at St. John's and my company as well yes <laughs> and I began to think it's a big deal to come to St. John's especially for early service hours at 740 they start early eight o'clock divine liturgy it starts early. you got to have some of that fortitude which is to make it through this is a demanding form of the faith for those of you who are actually repenting and making good on last week's message to be delivered from sins it's not easy the flesh is stubborn fallen nature is tough it fights back and though Jesus Christ is overcome sin love and grace we still live under these of sin and here we are those of you see that and I hope your feet are enjoying mine are telling me I'd like to sit the pressure what you did during the so you take second or 15 seconds sit and it's a life-giving moment this is a demanding form of Christianity and it comes to us actually through a miracle and here's the good news part of the good news actually that how did the rough and tumble pagan overnight become equal to the Apostles the answer is this this is the deep theological answer. it's very appropriate that we would speak of st. Vladimir day that we would speak of the six six ecumenical councils and the fathers that answer these seven gifts of the Holy Spirit, let me recite them again. Wisdom, understanding, counsel, fortitude, knowledge, piety, and fear of the Lord. They were prefigured in creation. For the Holy Spirit is given to the world through Jesus Christ at Pentecost, and the birth of the church. But the Holy Spirit, as Holy Trinity, as God, is already active in creation from the very beginning these seven gifts they are prefigured in nature they're in our flesh 
And so when the operation of the Holy Spirit reached its moment in 988, the rough and tumble makes a decision in preternatural, it's said, it's called preternatural wisdom, pre-baptismal wisdom, pre-baptismal counsel. He sends emissaries, ambassadors, searching for the true faith. They didn't just stop in one city. They visited many places looking for the best and truest form of religion. That sign of pre-directed, pre-creational wisdom, power, fortitude, knowledge, piety, understanding, and we're the heirs of it. I think it's a message of hope. And I'll leave you with this. I went to a preaching conference once. And there were some big, powerful names there. I remember two of them. Two from preaching from the American tradition. One got up and said, in answer to the question, what's your method? He said with a great voice, when I preach, I wish I could imitate it, when I preach, I want the congregation to feel that their garments have been singed by the fires of hell. And he had a big congregation. Another pastor, and he had a mega congregation. He stood up and said, in contradiction to the first, when I preach, I want my people to feel a cool breeze crossing their face from heaven. And then he said, people will drive a great distance for a message of hope. People will drive a great distance for a message of hope and people drive a great distance to come here. And people will stand, stand, no, I'm just kidding, joking. Those of you who are watching, I have some people here sitting. Those of you who are here standing and sitting, you will do that for a message of hope. Your message of hope has really been fulfilled. From the moment of creation, the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit have already been placed in creation. From the moment of your conception, these gifts being knitted together into your body and your soul. And from the moment of your baptism, these gifts, wisdom, understanding, counsel, fortitude, knowledge, piety, and fear of the Lord have been ratified and sealed in you. For those of you, congratulations on Holy Communion. You have re-signified, re-blessed, reactivated these same gifts. And may that hope of the resurrection, which is the final destination for us, for our relatives, our friends, the final destination for those who have gone before us, priest in Virginia, John Moses, today, we know and hope that he receives Christ, for he is receiving him in darkness. We know and hope that we will have a resurrection when we have died with Christ in baptism. We pray, we tough it out. We stand, do the, the Watusi thing, get our feet rested up, because we're preparing for that day of glory when all sin and all suffering will be wiped away. The blessings of the Lord be upon you through his grace and love towards mankind, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.
Damien Confessions. Dear brothers and sisters, there are a few announcements that you might be interested in, so please listen. Um, those that you're not interested in, you can just pass by your ear. Uh, I want to thank Mary Bauman for directing the choir today. It's uh, a comfort to know that we have backup uh, choir directors who can take over uh, when the other choir director has to conduct the Slavonic uh, liturgy. Thank you, Mary, very much. You did a wonderful job to the choir members as well. As you all read from the email and from the uh, websites of the Rokor Church, um, a very fine priest, Father uh, John Moses, after a lengthy illness, passed away in Harrisonburg, uh, Virginia. Uh, he was uh, for 20 years a Methodist pastor. And then uh, in 1996, I believe, he and his wife converted to the Orthodox faith. And he was an exemplary priest of the Eastern American Diocese for the rest of that period up until Thursday. Uh, so we will, uh, the funeral service will be held this Tuesday uh, in uh, Harrisonburg and a, a small delegation from Washington, including Father John Johnson, Father George Johnson, Myself will, will be in a eminence metropolitan uh, hilarion. If you're interested in the schedule of the funeral, you can look it up on the Eastern American Diocese website. But please, we will do a uh, shortened uh, uh, memorial service for Father John, for Father Archpriest Michael um, Castelbajac. He was a, a old priest. France. He was uh, ordained by St. John of Shanghai in San Francisco and when uh, Matushka and I went to the um, court case to do with the murder of, Saint, of Brother Jose Munoz Cortez in Athens, he was also in attendance. He was the only priest who came from Europe to attend the court hearings. Um, he was also a convert priest he died at the age of 91, and Father John was uh, during his, his passing. The August issue of Parish Life is out. You may receive a copy at the candle stand. To, to date, we have raised uh, $6,000, $8,000 needed to install the uh, monument, the bronze monument to St. John of Kronstadt. If you haven't donated yet, please, uh, to this cause, please consider doing so. It would be a wonderful if every single parishioner of ours at least had uh, something to do with the uh, installation of this beautiful monument, which will uh, uh, decorate the south side of our wall. This coming Tuesday, we have a Slavonic uh, choir uh, rehearsal at 7 o'clock. Um, at 7.30, Vladika Jona will conduct uh, the next class in Orthodoxy. This Thursday, August 1st, it's already August, believe it or not, coming up, um, is the, uh, we commemorate Saint Seraphim of Sarov. Uh, we will do a Moleben and uh, uh, Akathis to Saint Seraphim at 6.30, it'll be bilingual. A Thursday, English choir rehearsal at 7. And um, beginning uh, next week, for two, for the first two weekends, of uh, Sundays of August, we will just serve one liturgy on Sunday at a new time at uh, 9.40. Uh, unfortunately, in the July issue of uh, Parish Life, it, the time was uh, noted at 9.10, but it's actually 9.40, uh, one liturgy. This is because some of our clergy will be on vacation. Yes, we clergy too need vacations from time to time. Um, so, that's it. Uh, so, the, um, we will read the uh, communion prayers as usual, and after that, the shortened Panikida for Father John.
have to work with our people to get with the whole country. But the uh, reward of the sea, the three people in the sea, the heaven the kingdom, and the rest of it in our own. Uh, all communities, please listen carefully to the thanksgiving prayers. Word to your God, word to your God, word to your God.